Hello, this is Mr. Gale, and I want to talk to you about a project I just finished on my 1964 S1 Elon. First off, you can say, wait a minute, that's not a 64 S1. That looks like an S4 hood to me. Well, you're right. I didn't discover until oh, a few years back when I had the car repainted that the previous owner had munched the front end and they had replaced it with a uh, S4 clip. Anyway, I bought the car in 19, used in 1972, so I've had a long time. I've been working on rebuilding it for the past five years. Anyway, get to the point what I, this video is about is, I got tired of the vacuum headlights, as most people that own the lounge know. They have a tendency to just work when they want to. Anyway, I reviewed the web and I found a lot of people that converted over to electrical headlights, and I decided to give the same try. One day I was cruising the web and I discovered there was such a thing as a mini Lini accelerator. And I ended up buying one from Progressive Automotive. I don't know if you read this or not. Anyway, it's a model PA14. The stroke is 4 inches with a force max of 35 pounds and the speed of 2 inches per second, which is perfect for the, for the headlights. I then proceeded to figure out a way of hooking it up so that uh, it'd be easy. Since it does have an S4 clip on it, it has the fail-safe headlight system. Uh, so I only needed one actuator in the middle to push the bar up. Anyway, let me take the hood off and I'll show you how the bracket is. Now that I got the bracket mounted, the next project was to figure out how to get the actuator uh, to hook up electrical. And you can see a picture of the actuator at the top of the video right now. And what it is about these inexpensive relays off of, of uh, Amazon. And I also had an S4 uh, headlight switch. It has a little micro switch on the side of it, which was perfect. Uh, I, I don't think this is required because you could do the same thing working off the hot side of your main headlights. I think it would work just fine. Anyway, this is, uh, let me demonstrate it to you. The idea is uh, when I pull this lever out, the actuator should open the headlights. And let's try it. Pull it out. Goes out. Push it back in. So I got the electrical part figured out. It's actually pretty easy because on the uh, website that I, the company I bought the actuator from, it's got a schematic showing it's a double pull, double throw relay. It's a real simple hookup. Anywhere where it says switch, I think there again, uh, that's what I'm using over here. I could just as well use it off your main headlight switch. I think would work just fine. Matter of fact, I might just hook it up that way since I've already got the other, the normal switch already installed on my dash. Okay, went over, the, went over the electrical part, and let's talk about the mechanical part. This was a bit of a, really got my head scratching trying to figure out how I was going to do that, because of course you want to get this arm attached to the actuator. But, the actuator moves four inches, and I only need like three and a quarter, three and a half inches to from lock to lock on the on the center column here. So, anyway, I did, tried a couple different ways, and what I end up doing is getting a piece of raw stock, and I, I cut this end, this end out here, so it would go around the bar, then of course I drilled a hole, so that it mount. Let me see if I can get this on here. So I said, anyway, there it goes. Uh, and then I had to figure out where that hole went. So what I did with the actuator, I extended it all the way out, when it was mounted on the bracket inside the car, put a bit through the, uh, in here, this got a screw in it now, but I used a drill bit. And then I basically just moved this back and forth and scribed the metal so I got a little arch scratched into it so I could see where, where it had to be. So then I just basically drilled a hole, got a little off center, but hey, it doesn't really matter. Of course, the other one looks like a triangle, so <laughs> strange drill bits I've got. Anyway, it works. I hooked everything up and uh, just used a battery, a bench tested, and the headlights go up and down, just, just perfect. So I was quite pleased with that. Anyway, now the hard part, and that is putting it all into the car itself. Uh, when I get that done, I'll make another video showing you how it actually works. Okay, I got everything installed, and had, but I did have to do some messing around with that bracket that I made for there up there. Uh, it wasn't, the hole wasn't properly aligned, so when the headlights were open, there was too much slop in them. 
So what I am doing is drilling another hole, and I actually end up elongating it. It seems to uh, works fine now. I to both going up and coming down. Uh, since it only has 35 pounds of force, I wasn't too concerned about breaking anything if if it was too tight. Uh, anyway, so what I end up doing is putting the relay. It's the little relay I bought underneath the dash. Then I ran a wire right to the headlight. Uh, actually, the relay for the main headlights, and I just attach it there. So when the headlights come on, the uh, voltage would go to the actuator, and the headlights would come up. Then that allowed that well that eliminated the possibility of having to replace that uh, the normal vacuum switch on the on the dash. So anyway, that just sits there; it doesn't do anything anymore. What on the other end, what I did is I brought the wire out through the firewall and attached it to the fuse block, so that it is fused. Uh, which means that the headlights, I mean, means that the ignition switch has to be on before the uh, power goes to the relay so that uh, to raise the headlights. Uh, the bracket is up here. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's, it's hard to get there. You, it's mounted right in there. You got the dash. Uh, you can't see the top of it, unfortunately, but you can see how it's uh, just set, in, set in that little bracket that had the headlight uh, vacuum bowl on it mounted before. Okay, let me go ahead and set this camera down so that you got an angle on the car headlights, and I'll go back and then actuate the headlights. So bear with me. Okay, it looks like you can see the lights now. So I'll be right back. Anyway, they work. Um, they aren't as fast as maybe some people would like to see them, but I don't think that's too bad. Uh, it's like I said on the uh, first part of the video, the it's, it's rated to raise uh, two seconds per inch, so it's you know it only has to go four inches, so it takes it's said to take about eight seconds for good. I don't think it's even taking that long. But anyway, anyway, that's that's about it. Now, cost-wise, I only had to buy one actuator because it's only need one in the center. Uh, so, I think with everything, the relays and everything else, it's about 140 maybe 150 dollars of the shipping and everything that was involved. Uh, you can obviously do this with the, uh, the singles, regular headlights, uh, but it costs twice as much. Now, there is several different manufacturers of these actuators online. If you do some search for it, you'll find that uh, a lot of people offer it at very different prices. This just happened to be the only one I could find that was fast. Most of them have a rate like lays to 300 pounds and stuff like that. They move real slow. I guess that's great if you want to lift something that heavy. But anyway, uh, for this application, of course, I don't need that kind of strength. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know.